Freedom and beauty to everyone. I am the Technomage and welcome back to my review of Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender Episode 6 Masks. So, this is the second part of a two part episode together with previous episode, episode 5 Spirit Away. And bloody hell, they just. This is just stretch so much. Because these two episodes are actually like three episodes of the original series, give or take, because of all the different um, little bits and pieces that they cut together for, I think actually they are four, four epi episodes of the original series, just they cut some bits and pieces the best parts and then they put them together for these two episodes so let's get to it so we begin with more backstory this time with Suko what is it member it's about his first war console and problems with with, he's person. having with Shao you, and his crew. Then we have the scene of the right war console, and it's just Point honestly, tank. it goes flanks, leaving in the top. Then, too long. And it doesn't have the same impact seen in the original series because it is the it's it's too illuminated here in the original series the. The, the flashback of the, the war console has this um, sepia tone, this sepia filter. And again, you couldn't see the face of the Fire Lord. He, the, the few times he appeared throughout the, throughout the series, his face was kept hidden. Here we see it in plain sight. And have... And then we have the challenge of Agni Kai. Agni Kai. Then there is the scene of the Agni Kai itself. I mean, I'm here to do where he discovered that he has to fight his own, his own father. My and bloody hell, Daniel Day King. Damn! I wish I looked like this when, I, when I'm his age. Anyway. Again, excellent fighting choreography and special effects and all that, but it goes too long. Too much conversation in the original. They fought, Suko was subdued, and he was burned. And then we have the final moment where uh, Uncle Iroh is telling. And you're all alive. Tells <laughs> Lieutenant. The lieutenant about the forty. We are the forty-first. Well, so was, well, actually, this that, this part about the for, the forty-first squad. This was added for this episode for the Netflix series. This didn't happen on the original series. In the original series, the uh, Uncle Iroh just tells the officers about Suko's Su past, and that's it. This part is actually the part about the 41st. They added it for this episode to add more, how to say, more emotional effect, I think. But I think it's actually this little part, I like it. I mean, the officers finally show some respect to Suko and all that. We don't. You know, Suko's backstory was well done, just as I said. It was stretched too much and too much converse, too much. Di too much dialogue, too much conversation, exposition, telling, not showing. Now, one thing they did correctly was Ang visiting. Greetings, Vice Sages. I'm glad to Roku's see temple. Uh, my because it was I'm really faithful to the original series. The monks are no longer faithful to Roku or to the Fire Lord. They tried to capture him. And there is this one monk that is still of the avatar and to avert 
loyal and then he connects with Roku. And hop on one leg, but <laughs> and it was actually quite well done and this little humorous bit was a nice addition nice addition then he has the conversation with Roku about the mission of the avatar and they added a little bit about Suko I mean sorry about Ank dealing with uh Ko the face stealer and he and Ang discovers how to deal with Ko and recover his friends, which he does. What? But then, here's part is changed because in the original series, uh, Ang's friends were here in Roku's uh, temple, and he almost got captured by Suko and then by Shao. Here, they are paralyzed because they are attacked by June, the bounty hunter. Uh, and Roku doesn't manifest. In the original series, uh, the first avat previous avatar with whom Ank connects is Roku. And th in this part of the original series, uh, Roku manifests and he defeats the traitorous sages and destroys his own temple in this series as we saw kiyoshi is the first avatar who avatar connects with and the one that actually manifests in the material world now one thing they did absolutely magnificently is the blue spirit and oh i was expecting this and it looks amazing I mean, look at this, it's an actual, lore accurate, blue spirit mask, not like Shyamalan's. And this scene plays beautifully. And the fight scene, of course, is amazing. I mean, the stunt work, choreography, special effects, all of it is excellent. This whole sequence with the Blue Spirit, I have Avatar. nothing but grace. Do you have a shot? Take him out. And I discovers that it is actually super. Now! now, of course, as I said before, this series has horrible pacing and time allocation problems. And what do they do? They stretch this part. You shouldn't try to move. They just have them talking and talking and talking, and they are trying to, like, how to say it, uh, already develop like a friendship between the two of them. And that was the wrong decision because it it is too soon. In the original series, we had Suko as the main villain throughout the first season. Then. Second season, Suko starts to challenge his worldview, change his worldview, discover who are his real allies and his real enemies. And then on season three, we have Suko's redemption arc when he joins Team Avatar and teaches firebending to Ang. And then they become friends. After we have all of this transformation, all of this character development, here they are rushing it again. This is the problem of the series. They are rushing that. everything. This friendship between Suko and Ang, the F Fire Lord Osai, the psychological torment and and the perfectionism and brutality of Azula. All of it is being rushed. It's too much. They should have used that uh, all of that time. And that screen time showing other episodes, adapting other episodes of the original animated series and use that time for more world building, which they don't. Honestly, there is very little world building. I mean, they just show us the bare minimum, just what what's 
absolutely necessary to understand the world of Avatar. Whereas in the original series we had so much, the world was, the world building was so rich. And as I said, talk, 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 talk. And as I said at the beginning, um, um, some final thoughts for this episode. This episode is a, the second part of a two-part story, together, together with the previous episode, Spirited Away. But for these two episodes, they cut and mixed like four or five episodes here is uh the episode of ank being captured by shao and rescued by the blue spirit i don't remember exactly the, the name of the episode uh, there's the episode about ank going to crescent island to connect with roku in the about roku's temple the two-parter uh winter solstice where ank Oh yes, in that in that episode, in no wait, in Winter Solstice he that's the second time Ank connects with Rogu. This time in the Spirit World, when he was trying to calm down the forest spirit and then finding a way a way to deal with Ko, the Faith Stealer, and that episode was a two part. So we have already four episodes, and. There's the episode about Aang and Suko's uh, backstory where Aang tells about him being discovered his life in the Air Temple and discovering he's the Avatar and all that and how he escaped. And that episode is also where Uncle Iroh tells the officers of the ship about Suko's past. So we have five episodes. Five episodes cut and mix together to create two is too much information and and even then i mean it should have been a lot of things happening on those two episodes but they don't because they just nitpick the like the most trendy parts of those episodes the, 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 the parts that are most known amongst the fandom and then they stretch it to fill two episodes of one hour each and you can feel this is stretch that is watered down. Oh yes, yes, yes. The the part about the the blue spirit breaking Ang out of prison was done beautifully. I have nothing but praise, praise for that that whole sequence, that whole segment of the episode. But the rest, uh, they could have done better. They should have done better. This is the Dengan Image signing off. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.